you turn your senses, which are the subtle uh, currents in the voluntary and involuntary nerves, if you turn that current toward the object of sense or outward, you will never be freed from desire. You will lay up new and many more desires and you will not attain the freedom of the soul. Now that's the first important thing. When you enjoy anything, through the fulfillment of the sense, sense of eating, if you allow the current to flow outward toward the object of your desire, you will never be satisfied. Because of the law, the satisfaction does not come in the object of sense, it comes within, in the heart. But on the other hand, if you, as you fulfill that desire and enjoy the fulfillment of it, do this simple thing. Reverse the current, turn it inward, away from the object of sense to the heart within, to the soul consciousness within. Every desire will be satisfied, but greatest of all, you will lay up no more new desires and there'll be no attachment which binds us to this outward consciousness and to birth and death. Now, isn't that wonderful, that simple thing? That's the first great law. Metaphysically, it means simply this, that if we can reach the state of interiorization of consciousness and the reversing of the currents, flowing to sensation, if we can turn them in, and have an internal consciousness and reverse the currents by this which is called pratyahara, this practice of yoga, then we can be free from desire. Now this is done, this interiorization is done by following the Self-Realization Fellowship Yoga with its various techniques. Before we can do that, before we can get away from that outward object of desire, in this case, the turkey leg, which we are talking about. Before we can do that, we have to have control of our mind and consciousness, do we not? We have to learn concentration. You cannot do it without that. And so the self-realization techniques, which the master has left, of which one of the most important is concentration, plus interiorization, which comes from that concentration, is necessary to overcome and turn back the current which is flowing outward to the object of senses. Concentration is very important. Concentration is necessary to perform the higher techniques which give us contact with God. And so, the highest technique of concentration is the first one important one which we learn in Self-Realization Fellowship Yoga. Before that we learn. We learn how to recharge and regenerate our body and we learn how to handle life force. And remember, when you learn how to handle life force, then you can reverse the current because the current is life force. The current flowing out to the object of senses is life force. The current flowing in when you turn it inward through interiorization is still life force. So concentration is the first and important step which we must lead. Speaking of concentration, a little story comes to my mind. I hope I tell it in the right way about concentration. You know, when you concentrate deeply, you are oblivious to everything else but that one thing which is in your mind and consciousness. And Newton, Newton was a great man of concentration, a great thinker, a very deep thinker. And he was noted for his concentration. So this, this one morning, he was deeply concerned in his concentration, thinking of things. And the housekeeper wanted to go out and he said, yes, you go right ahead. He said, I can boil my egg for four minutes. I'll be all right. So she went out, and a little later he was discovered. He had the egg in his hand. Deep concentration. And he was boiling his watch <laughs> for four minutes. He was so concentrated in what he was thinking. He was taking care of the egg in good shape. But the watch was suffering. And so that, that uh, little story will remind you to always think when you're trying to overcome desire about Newton and that develop the concentration which he had, so oblivious to things that he boiled his watch <laughs> instead of the egg.
Now going on, the next important thing which we should remember is this. The second law is very important. The first law, as I have said, is to remember that when you enjoy the fulfillment of desire, which we have to do, we're living in this world, we have to do it, if you allow your senses and sensation to go toward the object of the sense, you will never fulfill your desire. It will never be satisfied because the desire is not satisfied in the object of sense, but in the heart within. That's the first spiritual law. And the second is this, very important. If you contact God, when you contact God, that will counteract every other desire you can have. Because with the realization of his presence, no other desire can stay. And so the second great thing to remember is, if you wish to overcome your desire and kill this tyrant, material desire, get God contact. Get God contact. Be one with him. There's no desire that will stay with you. So great is his love and his companionship. And to do that, self-realization gives you the techniques, as I have said. You first learn to get hold of, so to speak, life force by the recharging exercises. Then you learn concentration, as we have just, just discussed. And then... Self-realization gives you contact with God within you as the Word. In the beginning was the Word, the Word was with God, the Word was God. Self-realization yoga will give you the technique to contact God within you as the holy vibration with its great sound, its great light, and its omniscient love. If you have that, you will not be troubled with desires because that great love of God which is your own, will counteract, offset any other little material desires.